When the mighty Stang was launched back in 2016 in India, Ford enthusiasts raised their fists in victory, thinking that it is the beginning of a revolution. But sadly, that's not the truth. The Mustang GT was the only variant to come to India, last and only, and a couple of years after that, Ford packed their bags and left. Yes, the Mustang GT might be the lukewarm variant, but that does not stop you from making it a proper muscle car with a supercharger down here. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Drivers Up. My name is Bhavneet Vaswani and this is a Mustang GT, but with a supercharger. What is forced induction? Well, essentially, turbochargers and superchargers are air compressors used to increase oxygen flow into an engine through forced induction, as in forcing and compressing the air inside the block. But each accomplishes this goal in its own way. Forced induction uses the principle that more air in the combustion process creates a greater output of power. But today, we are focusing on superchargers. These whiny boys are powered directly by the engine. A belt pulley drives gears that cause a compressor fan to rotate. The supercharger's biggest advantage over a turbocharger is that it does not have any lag. Power delivery is immediate because the supercharger is driven by the engine's crankshaft. Open up the big long bonnet of the Mustang and the big 5-litre V8 is now even more cramped thanks to this centrifugal supercharger from Procharger. You've got NGK spark plugs, uh, a fuel, uh, fuel injectors from Deutschworks. You've got an intercooler from Procharger, a BMC air filter, uh, headers from X-Force and a Corsa catback system. All of this has been uh, set up with a Palm Beach Dino tune. Those guys are really famous for Mustangs and they make some crazy, crazy builds. And this is uh, their stage two setup for this supercharger, which is wild. And the power figures have become even wilder. Stock, this produces around 400 bhp and 530 newton meters of torque. But now this makes a whopping 700 bhp and 900 newton meters of torque. Big power! Talking about the dimensions of this tank, it is low, long and very wide, creating this very imposing image on the streets that basically shout, get out of the way or I'm going to run you over. And I love that about this tank. When it comes to the looks, the owner has done some really tasteful mods to make the car look better. Like this midnight purple PPF, a uh, Shelby body kit which includes the front bumper and rear bumper, these uh, more aggressive fenders and that massive wing that's made out of carbon fiber behind. The car looks absolutely banging. Enough jibber jabber, time for me to take it for a spin and see what this supercharged monster is actually like. Okay, so unfortunately, I didn't get to drive the car. We were supposed to drive this 700 horsepower rear wheel drive monster on a nice, quiet and more importantly, wide open road in Mexico, but we couldn't reach that location on time and I was surely not gonna drive an almost five meter long V8 muscle car through the tight streets of Bangalore. So we decided to go for a joyride with the owner himself, but that also failed because it was super dark out and the GoPro didn't capture anything. But what we can show you are dyno figures, the dyno run itself and the quarter mile runs this beast did at Vroom 2022. Yeah, sounds like a creature that has made its way straight out of hell. And now check out these dino figures. Can you see how linear that curve is? That's the benefit of the supercharger. It can give you power delivery like a naturally aspirated car, but with the extra punch of a turbo. Now, yes, if you notice the power figures, they have come out to be 653 crank horsepower and 661 newton meters of torque. Before everyone says that we've click baited them, this dyno run was done with the base map provided by Palm Beach. But later on, the owner installed the race map and in that configuration, this Mustang produces the previously claimed 700 bhp and 900 newton meters. 
All of the dyno testing was done at none other than harmonics tuning. Big shout out to them for providing this amazing footage of the dyno and the dyno graphs of the Mustang. One thing is for sure, you won't miss this thing. The exhaust is so loud, you can literally wake up your whole neighborhood. Moreover, this thing absolutely rips. Now, we don't have the exact times of this monster, but at Vroom 2022, it was doing low 12 second quarters with ease. The main issue that you face is traction. All of that torque, all of the power, very easily overwhelms the tires which are PS4s. Moreover, this thing can spin its tires throughout third gear as well if you don't know what you're doing. But if you get it right, the owner says that this thing can break into the 11s. Maybe the tires and the surface are the limiting factor for that. We will just have to wait and see. The real place where this thing will monster almost any other car is in the sprint from 100 to 200 km per hour. Again, we don't have any draggy figures to show you but this thing can do 100 to 200 kilometers per hour in around 7 seconds, which we can all agree is mind-blowingly quick for a car that weighs almost 1800 kgs and is almost as long as a Range Rover Sport. Overall, this is one of those builds that just leave you awestruck. This Procharge Mustang sounds like something out of hell, is as fast as a supercar and can literally scare the living shit out of you once you go flat out. We are very thankful to the owner for letting us film this monster. It was truly a pleasure to film and experience this thing. Subscribe to the channel, comment what you thought of this Mustang from hell and we will see you in the next one.